All right, so my lighting's like complete crap right now. But as you can see, the tree is still up. Um, it is 1.30 in the morning. Um, I got out of work, went to the gym, went to Walmart, got got my two staples, which I'll show you. If you've been here since the beginning, you'll know what my, like, my go-to staples are. But if you're new, I'll show you anyways. But as you can see, we have the tree up still. And me and Brian agreed we wanted to keep it up until um, my birthday, which is February 3rd, or Valentine's Day. But um, I think we're ready to take it down now. I took all the like Christmas decor down when I got home. The only thing left, left standing is our tree. So this is probably the last time you guys are going to see this in the videos and I'm going to miss it. It's going to, but I'm like ready for like a clean, fresh living room. Like I'm ready to, when I went to TJ Maxx the other day, they had a bunch of like spring stuff out and they're putting Easter stuff out already. And it's like the fun, like bright yellow and like the really pretty pinks and purples and all that. And I don't know, it really made me excited for spring weather and all that, even though that's probably not anytime soon for us. We're supposed to get um, a pretty intense, well, not intense. Um, we're supposed to get a good snowstorm, um, I think, this weekend. Uh, today, uh, it is, well, technically, I guess today's Friday. Um, I'm off again on Monday and Tuesday, so I will, Caroline is better now, so I think I'm going to go hang out with them, and we'll probably do something. Brian's off Monday, too. Oh, I'm so excited now. It's rare that me and him ever get the same days off together. So, like, when he was on break from work, I was really excited because he is my best friend. Um, and I absolutely do not get bored with him. Um, I love being around him and always have a really good time. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. Now It's all of us together. I want to go do something fun. Jacob said something about going to the trampoline park. Um, okay, a little fun fact. I'm not like 12 years old anymore. So that affects my body a little bit more than what it did back then. I mean, is it really fun to go to? Absolutely. Would I still go to it? Yeah. But last time we went, I must have like did something to like a part, I don't know, like pinched a nerve or something in my back. Some The way I did something, uh, my toe, my big toe still to this day, um, this is going on like six months now, is like half of it is like numb. And I, it happened right after, I knew like I had did something when we went, you know, just jumping around acting really stupid, but it was really fun. So yeah, Jake's been asking to go there and I'm just like, I'm kind of nervous because I'm like, I don't know about all that, man, but it is a really good time. And what else was I going to tell you? Oh, I'll show you. Hold on. I'll show you one. Okay. Holy Grail items. These are like a must have. If I don't have them, I, ooh. Always keep them on stock. I bought two packs today. Um, these are the little tur uh, turkey sausage links. Um, you can get these at Aldi's too if you have them around you. Um, I pay like three eighty four for a pack of these, and I, it's a really good deal because this will last me days. So yeah, this is a staple that like I'm highly addicted to. Don't mind my nails. Gonna paint them. And then this, which we have, I just went and bought like two packs of one day, but they were smaller ones. So this is a 30 pack one. And um, anytime I go to Walmart, I don't care. Even if I have a good stockpile, I buy more because we literally will go through it that much. But these two things right here at Walmart, 110% are like my favorite Holy Grail items in case you guys wanted to know. But yeah, now I'm going to go. Watch a YouTube video of some sort and take my ornaments off the tree so Brian can put the tree up tomorrow. Okay, so don't mind my appearance because I look like crap. But I was watching a YouTube video and I want to know if any of you who watch my channel, um, if any of you guys have a Trader Joe's. The, I watch completely random channels. Like I said, I have watched like it was um, like a recommended thing. Um, these girls are like, I have a few girls that like, I love their videos. They do more than just like, they don't do stripper videos. Per, some do like show you like what the club looks like, but um, like just days in the life. And I love, that's why I love vlog videos because you get to see a little bit of like all kinds of things. So um, yeah, I watch those. And then um, what else? Haul videos. I watch a lot of like the grocery haul videos don't know why I'm completely like 
it's entertaining to me and a lot of like family channels I absolutely love those so um a couple that I watch um they just did a Trader Joe's haul they're uh what's their channel oh my gosh uh Phillips Fan Bam I watch them and uh yeah you guys should subscribe to them all these channels I'll name off that I can think of top of my head you guys should subscribe to because I love them but they do like different haul videos for like different grocery stores but I'm going off on a tangent what I mean to say is Trader Joe's we do not have one here in Michigan well in Monroe we don't have one and the closest one to us I think is like almost an hour away so not really that like well it's not close at all to go to but I tell Brian all the time that I want to go to a Trader Joe's so bad I have like a list in my phone of things that I want to buy when we go a lot of people compare it to like an Aldi's Aldi's is not my most favorite place to go to I mean maybe it's because I just never gave it too much of a chance um we do have one here and uh I, rec I recently went and it wasn't too bad uh, it was really, it's, it was really busy when I went though. And it's, it was a small store. It was like a smaller store. And I just, I hate being in stores with a ton of people where you can't move. I just do not like that. So yeah, I really want to go to a Trader Joe's and I want to go shopping there, especially around the holidays because they got some really awesome holiday stuff. Um, some other channels I watch like family ones. I don't know, uh, this girl, she just had her baby. Her name's Megan. Um, her channel, I think, is like Meg Lee. And uh, I'm saying a lot and I apologize. But she just had a baby and he is so adorable. And I watched her labor and delivery vlog and I cried my eyes out. Any of them. Any video I've ever watched, like a labor and delivery one, I cry every time. And that Brian will laugh at me. I, was, I tell him about all these channels I watch and he, you know, he probably doesn't even care. But I'm trying to think of who else. Uh, this is how we bing them. I love that channel. Their family, I just, their family is so amazing and they're so just like close with all of like their family and then his, like all his brothers and sisters, there, I think there's like three or four of them. They all have their own channels with their families and it's just really awesome to watch and I think that's really cool. And yeah, uh, like I said, that's just some of them. I have a ton more, but like now that I said it, I can't, I can't think of any. But yeah, I'm just sitting here now and it's getting, it's getting even more late and I haven't done the tree yet. I work at five tomorrow, so I can, it's fine to stay up. There was something else I was going to tell you guys and I don't even remember. Oh, okay. Um, a big thing is I got a lot of comments on my last video and I was, I think I might even do, do like an in-depth review. The primer that I use on my face, the Monistat like chafing gel, that's what it is. Um, you buy it in the, like the feminine, like the woman, like the feminine products. Um, yes, it, it, it's not a spot for in that area per se. You can use it for any, I mean, you could, clearly you can use it for multiple purposes. If you chafe. You could definitely use that um but the ingredients like the main ingredient is i think it's in like a smashbox primer it's like they their main ingredient is like the same thing it's the chafing really uh man i'm getting caught up on my words the monostat stuff i use for my face it is it has like a really silicone bait like texture to it and it's like that's the same as the smashbox one and the Smashbox one is like, what is it, like 20 something dollars? Which, I mean, if you could save a little, why not? And it works really well. And I, my skin, like, it's very, what's the word? Like, it's fragile. Um, I, it breaks out easy, so I gotta be careful with what I put on my face. And that I've been using for years. I'm like, I'm talking at least probably five years if not longer like that's how long I've been using it for so I know some people are like oh my god do you know what you're putting on your face like that's not for that yeah I know it's if you go I'm sure you could just type in like uh, in YouTube like monostat you know chafing relief gel for your face I'm sure you will find a list of videos of girls like talking about it reviewing it and I love it and that's where I got I don't even know who the like the first person that I watched showed that but um yeah it works really good I promise you 
and when you put it on your face like it fills in the pore like if you have any pores or anything and it just creates like a really smooth base to apply your foundation with so when you apply your foundation it just glides on really smooth it doesn't cling to any dry patches you may have or like if you have had like like I said, blackheads or pimples, you know, pour, like your pores are kind of big. Like it will fill that in where you have a really smooth canvas to work with. And that's why I really like that stuff. And it's super inexpensive and I can get it at Walmart. Because again, where I live, I don't have like, the. I mean, I don't have an Ulta around me. No Sephora. Uh, that We have no makeup plate, like no Mac, Ulta, Sephora, nothing um, around me. So the closest one I got to drive to is about like 30, about 35 to 45 minutes away from me. So Walmart, we do have, and I get it there. I'm sure they sell it at other places, but yeah. I think I'm going to do an in-depth review for the, about that though. So you guys can know. Yeah. I'm gonna go now. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Just got home and all this snow has happened in a minute, which I'm sorry it's gonna be super loud, but all of this snow has happened in the matter of maybe minutes. And I'm gonna let you know, driving home from work with fresh snow, that sucked so bad, but nonetheless, I made it home. So yeah, um, I definitely will up let you guys see what it looks like tomorrow because I'm going to upload this video, I think, tonight. So tomorrow I'll show a clip of how much snow we're getting. This is by far the most snow that I think we are going to get because, um, work shoes. Um, that, yeah, this is the most snow we're going to get or that we have gotten, um, which is really funny. The only, the first snowstorm we had was the day after Halloween. I just remembered that, but yeah. This is insane. I mean, this isn't bad right now, but driving home in that awful at home also, and I seen this camera. Brian has his GoPro out here, and he's. I know he's gonna do a time lapse of how much snow. So yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed, go f subscribe to Brian's Garage, B-R-I-A-N-S. Um, yeah, and go follow him because this should be a really cool video it's to like watch. A hot mess again. This is like day two now of, but uh, you know, hold on. I don't know, I had something pop up on my phone. Yeah, this is like day two of looking like a hot mess, but I'm just gonna be honest, I'm keeping it real with you guys. Some days it's not all like crazy makeup and that. And it's really cold out, that's why my face is so red. And I have no nail polish on. So I'm gonna paint my nails. Tree going down right now, I just got home. And then, then you look over here and we have a ton of drywall. Brian is redoing his one like kind of like, it's not a man cave because I think those are like just downstairs, but we have a three bedroom house. So like one's kind of like my beauty room. The other room we used just as like a workout room slash like storage. And obviously we have our bedroom. I, mean, I keep looking at this side, so I apologize. But um, yeah, he's been redoing his whole room. Um, and I think he's going to be putting new like floors in it. Um, I know he's going to... Uh, what else is going to do? Obviously, new walls, drywall, the ceiling. He's taking that apart. He's going to do a whole new ceiling. Um, yeah, it's really cool. He's, like, put different um, outlets into the walls because, like I said, in pre uh, I think a previous video, our house is, like, almost 100 years old. So it's really old. And um, back then, they didn't have a lot of outlets. So he's adding all that. And then he told me he was going to do my room, which me, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty simple. I'm content with the way my room looks now, but, um, when we sell our house, cause that's something we're going to be doing, not like this year. I don't even see it happening next year. Maybe depends on how our life goes, but, um, yeah, we're going to be, we'll obviously be selling our house and we want to get a different one, but, um, I think that will definitely up the value of the house by just redoing and updating the bedrooms. So yeah. And this is a huge, he needs help carrying this up there. And I, the camera's not doing it justice, but like, that's a freaking huge piece of drywall. I did not expect it to be that big. And yeah, so I'm going to quit rambling and I'm going to get this started so I can upload this video for you guys. And I was, okay, this video is kind of really uneventful. It's more me talking, but that's just how it is. Sometimes when I work a lot, it's kind of like, I got to find a way to fit these in for you. And, um, gosh, there was something else I was going to tell you guys and I forgot. Oh, I ordered. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. So I ordered Brian two things, like the, these things off Amazon for his room. 
Um, and I've told you guys how he's a huge Breaking Bad fan. He loves the El Camino movie, um, like the spinoff, Better Call Saul, um, in which I started watching. He had me watch it and I love it. Um, I ordered this for him. It's kind of, it was for Valentine's Day, but I think I'm just going to give it to him early because I'm really, I'm an, I'm a little bit I'm a really anxious person and like I want to give it to him now like I get super excited so yeah I'm going to I get it Monday I didn't even tell you guys what it was it is um like the license plates from the show so like uh one says the captain and I think I'm pretty sure that's from the RV that Walt and Jesse cook in and then also I got him the one that says lawyer up and that's obviously Sal Saul's I always say Sal it Saul's and um, yeah, he really wanted that for, well, he brought it up one day and then I got really excited because like for him, buying him gifts can be kind of hard because he's like, he likes tools and he likes car parts. So that's not something I can just surprise him with. But um, this, I thought it was really cool. So I ordered him that. So it'll be here Monday and yeah, I'm really excited for it. It's really cute. Amazon, I think I paid like $40 for that so it's not too bad um it'll be a cute decoration for his room and yeah i would like i said i was gonna give it to him on valentine's day but we will be uh, we will be out of town because of our concert actually we'll be back home but i know that i'll be working on valentine's day probably all night he'll be working so we're kind of going to celebrate our valentine's day a little bit early but yeah i'm really excited and i can't wait to give it to him which i probably will give it to him monday and i will film his reaction my hand was going, my arm was going numb. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Hi, Gran. You didn't break me, no. Will you turn this down I some, please? Her. Goodness. Get away from <clears throat> that. I'll be right back. Great, guys. I'm going to get Ebola from this chick. Huh? I like your jams. Thank you. Who got them for you? I bought them. Oh, Walmart? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Classy. Walmart special. I can't even afford to go no place. <laughs> How much were they? You could buy them separate. I think Buddy's in your food. <laughs> no, he's in my damn car. <laughs> Buddy! He's gonna get no crap. He's yeah, got a big schnauzer. Get Get out of here. Go! <laughs> get your nice. whole life around her. <gasps> Buddy. Buddy, what'd you get? Whatever he can. Good <laughs> hey, too. Why are you doing that? I know I'm very Just nervous. breathe, girl. I, I'm around it all day. I'm around that stuff all day. Oh, you painted your nails. Oh. Let me see. Let me see. <gasps> Gee. Did you paint them or did she? And she <laughs> what the hell did you do? What is that? I have done nothing. Oh. It's on both hands. What is that? She what they call it, Carol Ann? Eczema. She's going to the doctor for it. She got eczema? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Give me and he dropped back paper. around right <laughs> there in my fucking carpet, you keep. <laughs> Buddy! <laughs> Get! Look at this. Get to ice out of there. Go! Buddy, come here, baby. I'm come here. Beat. <gasps> yeah. Beat him. I come beat here. <laughs> She's got all kinds of stuff in here for you. Oh, yes, I do, don't I? <laughs> Any sightings of the mouse? I got. Oh. Uh, and he said, "Actually, have her tell us the story in, she told me." Yeah, okay. His name's Stuart. Oh, Stuart. I taught me a lit Stuart little. <laughs> what? What's the story? Tell us. What's the story? Yeah. Oh, he's got where he's getting brave with me. No. <laughs> he come out from my water last night, looked at me, and I moved a little bit. He took off running back under the radiator. That don't top it all. I was sitting on my bed playing my game this morning, mm -hmm. and I seen something out of the corner of my eye, <laughs> and I thought, what the hell did I see? I looked down, that little fucker was sitting in my shoe, <gasps> right <laughs> next to me. Oh, no. Yep. I moved, he run. <laughs> has, he got, has he opened any of your food up yet? 
No, he can't uh, reach it. Yes, he eat better yeah. about like that. Oh yeah, he eat a candy bar, by. <laughs> yeah. He did. He eat a chocolate, big damn chocolate candy bar, and I'm gonna kill his damn dog, <laughs> buddy. Get out of there! Damn it! Get. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, come here, baby. Come here. You better get on bark to somebody. Come here. Now, what were we in the car talking about? About my grand, if she remembers. Go. Oh. Oh, green. What? Do you remember when you lived in that old folks home? Is that what it was? I mean, a senior no, living? No, that wasn't an old folks home. It was just a senior citizen's building. <laughs> yeah, Everybody says old folks home for <laughs> We couldn't find her. Nowhere. We couldn't find her nowhere. And I started to go out of the yard because I had stayed close to the house on account of you and Kim and Jim was out hunting her. And I walked down to the sidewalk. Jim said, Bob, don't look. Please don't look. Damn I said, something. what? And I turned around and I looked down the sidewalk, down the street. Here comes Shelby. Hi, Damn, she, her hair was dragging all down in her face. She had these big waiter boots on. Waiter fucking boots on. And to top it off, she had them on the wrong damn feet. I thought I would die. I laughed till I cried. She was said, Mom, don't you let her see you laughing. And he was just dying. I was but so, and that was young. Shelby was a bad kid. That was like kid. five, you know four, five years old. Did you or Walmart? Yeah. Hmm. I fell asleep. Oh, you, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. In between the racks, and they had yeah. to shut the store down. And then after that, Shelby had to become a leash kid. <laughs> yeah, they had, yeah, they started yeah, doing Shelby that. Shelby had to be a leash kid. She took off. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm pretty good now, but boy. Oh, and people are like, why do you have kids? They had I'm to scared. Lock the whole store yeah. down because scared. they thought Shelby was taken, but she fell asleep in her closet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I went with them, but they, they had a, everybody in that damn gum store. <laughs> they sh they locked it down. They shut. It, they locked it down. Mm -hmm. And then did Michael find you? I don't know who did. I don't know. Yeah, I think it was Michael and Shelby was almost asleep. Holy crap. Yeah. That's yeah, sleeping under a clothes rack. She hid from them. I, if, as soon as I would have heard them and all that, I would have got out. I don't know. Again, I was, what, five? Five, I think, maybe? But it's so funny to hear how bad of a kid Shelby was because, like... I'm nothing like that. Older, I'm nothing I'm like, like no, that. Never, never like no. that. No. No, but, like, she was mean, too, I guess. So moral time. of the story... Out of all your nieces and nephews, were we really, or no, your grandkids, were we really good? Hell no. <laughs> we weren't worse than Frank and Jake, though. They were the best. Who, okay, out of all of us, who was the top two worst? The top two, hands oh, down easy. worst. Frank and Jake. Who was the top two worst? Yeah. When they <clears throat> were little? Yeah. You? <laughs> No, like when we'd come over to your house. No, I'm talking about in general. I'm oh, talking okay. just in general. You. And who else? You was, uh, you was always fucking number one. <laughs> She's the one who always made us do every freaking thing. And we'd oh, listen. Well, and listen to you. They <laughs> got it all. They <laughs> got it all. We're going. Are you getting it? You never got a, a bit of it, did yes, you? Yes, I did. Oh, I got a bunch. Tell everybody bye and you love them. <coughs> bye. And I love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll see you. I'm off tomorrow. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. All right. Ever shaking this cold. <laughs>